greatest sin. Paul Burrell angrily vows to make Sussexes pay after ruthlessly biting Royal in back. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been accused of stabbing the royal family in the back by former royal butler Paul Burrell. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as members of the royal family last year and relocated to California with their son Archie. The couple have since welcomed a daughter, Lilibet Diana. However, since stepping away from the firm, the couple have made headlines all around the world after making several explosive allegations. During a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey this year, they claimed there were conversations about the color of Archie's skin before he was born. Meghan also claimed she was close to suicidal and did not receive any help from within the royal family. But now, Paul Burrell, the former butler to Queen Elizabeth II and the late Princess Diana, has launched a scathing attack on the couple. Mr. Burrell claimed the couple is trying to blur the lines between being royal and being celebrities. He accused Meghan and Harry of stabbing Harry's family in the back and deepening the rift. They have escaped the royals and found their freedom, but in reality, they'll always be chained down by the fact that being royal is the only thing that makes them interesting. And in playing on these connections, they are stabbing Harry's family in the back and deepening the rift. And speaking, Paul said, part of the royal fascination and popularity is that no one knows what really goes on behind closed doors. And so when Harry and Meghan share a glimpse into that life, it's shocking and scandalous and people love to hear it. It's juicy gossip and it's what makes them interesting. They have escaped the royals and found their freedom, but in reality, they'll always be chained down by the fact that being royal is the only thing that makes them interesting. And in playing on these connections, they are stabbing Harry's family in the back and deepening the rift. I imagine Harry's book will be even more shocking than what he's said so far, as the publishers will need that. That's the issue Harry and Meghan face with trying to blur the lines between being royal and being celebrities. It just doesn't work. Since stepping down as senior royals and moving to California, Harry and Meghan have signed a string of deals with the likes of Netflix and Spotify. Meghan has also written a children's book called The Bench, while Harry has been appointed the chief impact officer at Silicon Valley startup BetterUp that focuses on coaching people on their mental health. Yesterday, it was announced that the couple had become impact partners and investors of a sustainable investment firm called Ethic. It is believed that the couple were introduced to the fintech asset manager, which has $1.3 billion under management, by friends. It is unknown how much they have invested or what they are being paid. I imagine Harry's book will be even more shocking than what he's said so far, as the publishers will need that. That's the issue Harry and Meghan face with trying to blur the lines between being royal and being celebrities. It just doesn't work. His comments come after Harry was spotted with a mic during his and Meghan's tour of New York last month. The black choir could be seen sticking out his trouser pocket and into his shirt. It was suggested the couple may have been recording content for their multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. Next year, Harry is set to release a memoir detailing his time in the royal family and how he and Meghan stepped down and moved to the US. In a joint interview with Harry, Meghan told, From the world I come from, you don't talk about investing, right? You don't have the luxury to invest. That sounds so fancy. Previous, Paul Burrell has described Prince Philip was a practical, no-nonsense man who didn't suffer fools but insisted he's always been attentive of the Queen. The former servant of the British royal household admitted that the Duke of Edinburgh could be very gruff, and that his matter-of-fact approach could leave grown men in tears. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been contacted for comment. Duchess of Sussex.